Jesus replied, I told you that I am he. If you are looking for me, let these men go. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 18, verse 8. Mark, my soul, the care which Jesus showed, even in his hour of trial, towards the sheep of his hand. The ruling passion is strong in death. He resigns himself to the enemy, but he interposes a word of power to free his disciples. As to himself, like a sheep before her shearers, he is dumb and did not open his mouth. But for his disciples' sake, he spoke with an almighty energy. Within this is love, constant, self-forgetting and faithful love. But is there not far more here than is to be found on the surface? Do we not have the very soul and spirit of the atonement in these words? The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep and pleads that they must therefore go free. The surety is bound, and justice demands that those for whom he stands as a substitute should be allowed to go their way. In the midst of Egypt's bondage, that voice rings out as a word of power, Let the people go. Out of slavery, of sin, and Satan, the redeemed must come. In every cell of the dungeon of despair, the sound is echoed. Let these people go. And come out, despondency and much afraid. Satan hears the well-known voice, and he lifts his foot from the neck of the fallen. Death hears it, and the grave opens her gates to let the dead rise. Their way is one of progress, holiness, triumph, glory, and none shall dare to stay in it. No lion shall be in their way, neither shall any ravenous beast go upon them. The hind of the morning has drawn the cruel hunters upon himself, and now the most timid rose and hinds of the field may graze in perfect peace among the lilies of his love. The thundercloud has burst over the cross of Calvary, and the pilgrims of Zion will never be smitten by the bolts of vengeance. So come, my heart, rejoice in the immunity which your Redeemer has secured for you, and bless his name all the day and every day. Amen. <laughs>